Hey guys, welcome back to Hair Tube for 2021. I'm just here in my little backyard in Australia. Um, just thought I'd do this quick uh, video um, as an intro to our first video of the year rather than a traditional one. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to you guys for your support for our 2020. Uh, the pandemic has made it very, very difficult um, for people throughout the world and um, I hope that um, tuning into my channel and then watching some hair sort of gave you that little bit of disconnection from the mayhem that has been happening. I hope you and your loved ones are safe wherever you are and uh, please stay positive. Thank you also for your patience at the beginning of this year. Um, the end of last year was absolutely crazy. I had a few days off between Christmas and New Year and then straight back to the salon. So I didn't actually get a holiday until mid-January. I've taken that time off to spend with uh, my family. I've been a little bit exhausted and just wanted to take um, a couple of weeks to obviously spend time with them and think about what I was going to do going forward with the channel. So instead of the traditional intro, um, you've got me. Um, so let's talk about the video you're about to see. Allegra is a friend of mine. Uh, we first started training at the gym together some years ago. And um, I previously cut her hair, but she hasn't had it colored. So she contacted me um, during the uh, first few weeks of the new year and said, hey, I really need my hair done. I'm up for a change. So I thought, well, I don't I get her onto the channel so you guys can enjoy her first uh, ever hair color. So. I hope you guys enjoy it. So you're gonna see me head over there now. I'm just gonna um, begin the color. You're gonna see me talking about the sectioning and what I'm gonna do. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, before we get started, I just wanna say thanks again to Matrix. They're supporting the channel again this year. Um, it's only with uh, great uh, companies like that that produce quality professional hair color and, and styling products that allow me to produce these videos. Um, and also I've got a new uh, partner on the channel in uh, GHD Hair Tools. So I'll be uh, doing some videos um, with some just styling and um, things like that uh, throughout the year. So, uh, although I've started slow, there's lots of great content to come. So, um, thanks again uh, for tuning in and uh, let's get started. minutes or so later, uh, colours in. Uh, probably need to rinse the underneath out uh, first, but I'll just recap on my sectioning. So I've gone diagonal on each side, and again here to about the occipital bone, and then in through here we've gone horizontally. So I started going horizontal sections um, 
just um, above the occipital bone, all the way through to the top. And we'll rinse all that out. Hopefully, um, that should be ready to rinse in probably the next 10, 15 minutes. And then when you see us again next, I'll be talking about um, what toner I'm going to use and why. So, catch you in a sec. And see. I'm going to leave that bit in. <laughs> Back from the basin, foils are out. Um, we rinse the foils out. I use the, um, the um, Biolage um, color, sham uh, color Shampoo just to help remove the lightener out. And then I use the um, Silver Shampoo in the Matrix Total Results and just a little bit of the conditioner. The reason I do that is that using the Silver Shampoo is like a pre-toner. Um, now I'm going to dry Allegra's hair off and then um, we're going to do a toner. I'm going to stretch a root and tone the ends, but you guys will get to see it before I do that. So let's start drying it. So now that we've dried the hair off, we're going to stretch it. Let me just uh, spin a leg around so you can see the placement. You can see there, look, like it's probably fair to say that we could actually um, leave it like this, but we're not going to because it's raw. So we need to actually make sure that the colour's finished properly. Um, so I'm going to head out the back. Um, I actually haven't decided what I'm going to put on the root yet and the end, but um, I'm going to go out the back, have a think about it, mix it up. When I come back, I'll tell you exactly what I'm using. And then... Um, once we apply that, we'll process it, rinse it, and we'll be ready for a haircut. Time to stretch the root. Tone the roots, however you call it, whatever you call it, that's fine. We're going to apply colour to the roots for two reasons. One, I want to warm the root up. So we are using 6M, sorry, excuse me, we're using half 5M, half 6N, which is going to give us that nice chocolate brunette look. We're going to take that down around about two and a half centimetres over the top of the uh, highlights. And then once that all processes, um, we're going to take Allegra back over to the basin um, and we apply her end colour. So um, let's get this on. Roots are on. Uh, you saw that I combed it um, also back off the face. And the reason why I do that is on the inside, I want to have sort of like this brunette glow coming through. So rather than just having it come down, I like to um, comb it back. So as the hair's worn forward, underneath you get that nice, um, warm, dark sort of shadow coming from underneath. Going to process for, process this for 15 minutes um, over at the basin. And then at about the maybe 10 minute mark, I'm going to put the end colour on, then we're going to process the whole lot for an additional uh, 15 minutes, because it'll probably take me um, five minutes to get it on, and that'll be a total process time, 30 minutes, and then when we come back, it'll all be done, be time for a haircut. We've got our beautiful bronze, left it a little bit lighter around the face. And then we've got those pieces coming from underneath, but it will make much more sense when the haircut is um, done to complement the um, colour. So straight into it. We're going to start on the back first. So we're cutting dry today. Start on the back. We're going to cut our baseline in. It's not rocket science. We just want to take off the, um, the dead ends. The big the big thing today is to shape the interior to release the colour that's underneath so we can see it. And then obviously these parts here in the front, we want to make sure that, um, you know, this is a little bit sad face, sad face, sad face. We want happy face and those cheekbones, we want to really like open that right up there. We don't want them really, really short like fringes or bangs, but we need to lift them up. So, you know, when Allegra puts her hands in her hair and pulls it back, it's not hiding her face. This is all about making sure that it's, you know, 
right off the face, show those cheekbones off, and then this, we want it to stay soft. So let's start on the back. Simple sectioning, there's nothing, um, like I said, nothing uh, crazy about this. We just um, want to create uh, a nice section that will allow us to accurately um, cut the length that we want. So I'm going to continue to work through the back until we get to the sides. And we're bringing everything back to this point. It's a stationary guideline, so it's a one length haircut. Now we're just going to bring the sides down into the back. Making sure that we stay within the head shape. We don't want to be cutting it out there. Not to, that's not wrong. Um, if that's what you're meaning to do, it's just not the shape we're trying to create. There's probably not a lot left to cut on the sides because I'm effectively trimming in the length in the exact same shape that what I did last time. That's the end's done. The most important part of this haircut is complementing the legal's face shape. The length is personal. Whether she wants it here, 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 that's a personal decision. Until it starts to be above the shoulders, then it's relative to neck, neck length, face shape, things like that. But for me, in this haircut, this is the most critical part. I'm going to twist this so you can see. So this can still go back in the pony, you can still go behind her ears. So that's obviously a very important um, thing to consider that will this uh, become a very annoying thing? Something that is meant to be very beautiful and, and something that's meant to be exciting very quickly becomes the vein of the haircut because when Allegra is at work and she's on the computer, she looks down and hitting her in the face, she's getting behind her ears. I know she wears glasses, she gets in front in, in between her eyes and the glasses that can be annoying. So it's obviously important that we discuss um, these elements before we put them in because lifestyle factors and actually, uh, is actually the most important factor of all. So let's brush it back on the face.
we're done. What do you think? No, there's like, um, look, let me just move you up bits of pepper and steam you. I know how beautiful you are, I don't want to see you more importantly, but um, there's a lot of trust involved today. You know, I think uh, Allegra was a little bit like, oh, what are you going to do? I'm like, you just got to relax, mate. Like, I got you. And I think now I've, um, I've won your trust. I'm very relaxed, I'm very yeah. trustworthy. I think it was a scout massage. She asked me to keep going 20 minutes, I'm like, you look really good. I'm glad you trusted me because... It's, it's, I really, really love it. I think it's turned out really well. I think um, for the first time you've actually had like that sort of balayage look. Yeah. I think we found a good balance between putting some lightness in your hair and not going too hard. I think it's something that I say often is you don't want to go from one being like natural hair, mm. even though you had a little bit of like sun lightning and, and some old colour from you know, a few years ago, all the way to 10, because it leaves nothing for in between. You either love it and that's what you got, or you're like, I don't like it, can you change it? Whereas here we sort of somewhere in, minute, in the middle and we can yeah. add more and we can back it off, so. Thanks Thank for trusting me. I think you did a very good job. Um, if you liked um, Allegra, please leave a comment for her. <laughs> She's, um, do that. <laughs> she wants you to leave a comment and you can go and follow on Instagram, um, it's Allegra Petkovic. Um, I'll leave her name, it'll <laughs> go across here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in guys. Oh, if uh, it was the first time you've seen one of my videos, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you think you might know someone who might benefit from this video, whether they're a hairdresser or someone who's looking for a new hairdo, um, please make sure you share it with them. And until next time from Canberra Australia, it's bye.